Everyone, not many people knew what to make of Cage fighting before last year's superior fights at Lakeview Arena. After a few roundhouse kicks and plenty of knockouts, it seemed the UP was hooked on mixed martial arts. The superior fights back at Lakeview Arena tonight. We'll start 155 pounds. Marquette's Julian Thomas on top, hammering away on Kelly Matt's Logan DeRozier. And the round's about to end, thankfully, for DeRozier. And he would have to actually retire after that round. So, Thomas, your winner right off the bat. Next fight. Jody Bukovic from Calumet is fighting David the Wildman Furlot from Sioux, Canada. And Mr. Bukovic is uh, going to put Mr. Furlot to sleep after just 36 seconds into that fight with the submission move. So Jody Bukovic, your winner in that fight. A little controversy later, Rob Fisher hammering away at Zach the Engine Bardo, then gives him the knee to the face, and the fight is stopped temporarily here, and the referee has to make sure the kid's all right, and he says, nope. But here's the twist. The referee disqualifies Fisher, so the victory goes to Bardo by DQ. Last fight of the first session, that's Marquette's Eric Gumby Brown wrapping up Hancock's Zach AK-47 Foreman. And I guess we're finding out why he's called Gumby as we're just waiting for Foreman to tap out or fall asleep. And we'll see the left hand come up in just a second as the referee's looking for it as well. He would end up tapping out, choosing to stay awake as opposed to getting put to sleep. Eric Brown, your winner by submission. Another great fight night down at Lakeview. To the Superior Dome and high school softball. Nagani and Escanaba. Ashley Anderson for the Miners in the box. And she puts this one deep to right field, but it will be caught by the right fielder. So Aaron King wisely tags up at third base and gets in there before the throw. And it's a one nothing the Miners lead. Still in the third. Cheyenne Sherabini is up to bat, and she is going to single up the middle, and that's going to score Courtney Laura from second base, and it's a 2-0 Miners lead. To the fourth, the hit parade continued for Nagani. Allie Nelson up to bat, and she's going to stroke that one all the way to the makeshift center field wall out there, and she actually make it all the way to third base, standing up, but her teammates couldn't plate her from there. It remains 2-0. To the fifth we go, and the Eskimos starting to get their offense going. Jennifer Koish is going to double the deep left center field. Cody Jenchak scores and they get 2-1. They tie it at 2 in the 6th and they end up winning this one by a score of 3 to do. Other scores at the Spirit Dome this afternoon. Gladstone and the Sioux fit to be tied at 8. Gladstone over Escanaba, 5-1 in the Battle of Delta County. Rapid River gets a big win over Gladstone, 2-1. And they knock off Marquette in the process as well by a score of 5-2. And Rudyard tops Manistique 16 to 2. And the Emeralds would get back in the win column, topping Houghton later in the day by a score of 5 to 2. And of course, you can get all those scores on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com.